Hey guys, it's Laura. Um, I, th I thought I'd come on here and make a video about some books that I bought, and um, I just wanted to give, tell you about them, and um, they're books to help me on my crystal pagan path. And um, the first book I want to talk about is um, Wicca, a, a Guide for the Solitary Practitioner by Scott Cunningham, and that's what it looks like. This is a really, really good book. I recommend it um, a lot. I've I've read through almost halfway. Th I'm almost halfway through the book. Um, it has like it's more of a religious based Wiccan book. It's um it talks a lot about the god and the goddess, and but it also has like tools, um, altars, um, initiations, um, it talks about, like, dance and gesture, um, uh, it talk, it gives you, um, information about m what magic is and about magic, um, uh, it talks about, um, like ritual, ritual designs, um, the layout of a ritual. Um, it has like prayers in the back, um, rituals, um, spells, and um, it has the festivals, the, the holidays, the Wiccan holidays, with uh, rituals on those holidays. And um, it has like invocations and chants in it and um recipes for um incense and oils that you might want to make for um spots and s spots and um for different holidays and um it has uh crystal magic um symbols it it talks briefly about the root about runes um it gives a list of occult suppliers and stuff like that, so I, I recommend this book a lot. It's not really written in a textbook format. It's written in, um, of, like, it sounds like he's, like, sitting there and he's talking to you. So, it's not really written as a, like, in a textbook, so you won't get bored when you read this book. But I thought I'd show that to you. It's a really, really good bo book, um... Everybody recommended Scott Cunningham, so, um, that I read Scott Cunningham, so, <coughs> um, this, for me, was an interesting read because it's been interesting, I'm not done with it yet, but it's been interesting to study about, like, what Wiccans believe in and the different traditions that I, like, how my path because I have my traditions within Christo paganism and how my traditions and Wiccan's tradition, the Wiccan tradition, is, and um, it's really, I think, it, I think it's just really helpful and really informative for you to like study and like learn about what each person believes in. I think that's really helpful to your pagan path. So. <clears throat> highly recommend this book. It's a really, really good book. Um, great for begin beginners. And it's more solitary based. It's not coven based. So, if that's a, um, a concern for you, like, because I did order books on paganism in the past and, um, one book in particular, I can't remember what the book was called, but it was very coven based. And most of the books that I picked up were very coven based, but this is solitary based. So it's good, filled with a lot of really great information. And um, it, I, the, my favorite thing about this book is that it, it talks a lot about the god and the goddess, and um, it's very religious based. So um, it's, uh, I, I really recommend this book. I really love it. And um, so that's that book. The second book I have is uh, Earth Power. Sorry, the cat. 
Pookie. Come on, Pookus. Are you? Come on. Okay, sorry. <laughs> The second book I have is um, Earth Power Techniques, Techniques of Natural Ma Magic by Scott Cunningham. And so this book um, talks about the four elements and how to get in touch with the four elements. And it provides like rituals and, and spells in the back and um, for like um, to get to know the elements and work with the elements and um i haven't read this book at all yet um so i can't tell you how how it is but um everyone really recommended um scott cunningham to me so i picked up these books and getting to know the elements and working with the elements is definitely something that i'm interested in um so i picked that one up and i picked up earth air fire and water more techniques of natural magic by scott cunningham and this book is pretty much the same thing it's, um, uh, <clears throat> it talks about the elements, um, it talks about spell work, uh, magical techniques, um, and it gives, like, a whole bunch of, like, um, chants and, and spells in the back to get to know the, um, the elements, and, um, so, yep, um, so, and there's that. And, um, the last book I have is, um, Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. And I picked this one up. This one's really interesting to read. I, I read it, I read, I have read some of this because I have, um, herbs upstairs that I've been collecting. So, um, I, I read some of the correspondences of the herbs that I have upstairs, but it, it just has like a, um, like a picture of the plant or the herb and it goes into like an explanation and it gives like correspondences and like attributes of each of the herb. Um, and it has correspondences in the back. Um, uh, and, um, so I, th I think this book, it's really interesting to read, and I think it's really helpful to read. Um, so it's, that's that book, Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. Um, like I said, um, I'm still getting through, I'm halfway through this book, um, and I haven't read any of these books yet, but um, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> So I, I thought I'd show you that you guys those books and um, talk to you about them because I'm there's not very many there's a couple of people online on YouTube that are on the pagan Christo pagan path but as far as resources go there like there isn't very many people out there and there isn't very many resources and um, that are public so um, I just wanted to like take you guys along with me and um as I study Christo paganism and um study my path and um so yep I hope that was informative and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and um so um yeah so okay you guys well, um, if you have any book rec recommendations for me um, to read, just drop your comments down in the description, down in the comment section um, below, and we'll talk about books and what kind of books to read. But, yep. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Love you. Pray for me, and I'll pray for you. Bye.